great America. Sportsmanship spirit, a spirit so conspicuous of you that it has made the American sporting public, public famous the world over. And may I respectfully beg that the thought uppermost in your mind and the sincere feeling in your heart be that regardless of race, creed, or color, let us all say and mean it, may the better men emerge victorious. Yankee Stadium, 1935. Max Bear taking on Joe Louis for the heavyweight championship. Bear, a former world heavyweight champion, lost it in his first defense. Max Bear, of course, sporting the uh, Star of David on the left leg of his trunks. Joe Louis, a very, very economical mover, wastes very little, very hard puncher too. Bear trying to unsettle him very early on by rushing him. for openings with that uh, left hand of his, trying to prize Bear open. Bear sticks out his left hand, looking for range. Not seeing the left hand of Joe Louis doing the damage here. Picking up the points. Well, Maxi Bear's got no answer to that left hand of Joe Louis. see here Bayer is appreciably the bigger man of the two six feet two and a half inches tall well an unloading of punches here from Maxi Bayer catches Lou with his head in this opening session set for 15 rounds of course and a war has ensued here between these two men and Joe Louis short sharp punches on the inside there having ridden the storm here from Maxi Bayer Bayer doing all he can to try and assuage these punches from Joe Louis. Louis only a half an inch shorter, but looks so much smaller as the bell ends the first round. It's around two we go then. Joe Louis versus the former heavyweight champion, Max Bear. Bear from uh, California originally. Joe Louis, of course, from Detroit, Michigan. Again, that lovely left hand from Joe Louis. Joe Louis, of course, known as the Brown Bomber. And one problem here, I think. Uh, Bear is having is he's presenting quite a lot of the target to Joe Louis most of the time at right shoulders quite far forward. Louis, as you can see, is uh, giving a very slim profile here to Bayer. And of course, the reason the right uh, shoulder is uh, quite far forward is simply because Bayer wants to land the right hand. So it's got less distance to travel the further the shoulder is forward. And of course. Look at Joe Louis, just closes down the gap with a minimum of effort. And then, of course, unloads with both hands. Supreme fighting machine. The 
may remember that uh, Max Bayer won the title with a 10th round stoppage of Max Schmeling and then lost at his first defence to Jim Braddock. So there's a cracking finish to round two. To round three we go. So Joe Louis comes out of the corner, goes over virtually to the bear corner, gets on with his work. can see now all the height advantages that uh, Max Bear may have had is nullifying by crowding down like this. <laughs> Joe Louis really was an excellent technician, but uh, he did have a reputation as well as being a dirty fighter. Not only known for him to uh, put the heel of his glove up to the nose of his opponent. Rub the uh, heel of the glove inside their face. Oh, good right hand there for Louis. Bear now not having a great of success in round three. Louis once again being able to uh, pick him off at long range. Just the damaging punches coming to play on the inside. Louis absolute calmness personified here. Louis Bayer once again under the onslaught of punches. He's gone down now from the right to the chin. Slow motion fall there from Maxi Bayer. We are in round three. Well, Bayer does beat the count. And Louis once again back on the attack here. Thumping left hooks. And a crunching left hook there. Puts Bayer on the floor again. Terrific stuff. So a bit of replay here then, slow motion replay, Maxi Bayer under severe pressure here from Joe Louis' left hook particularly, right over the top, landed awkwardly, that one didn't. So the first visit to the canvas then for Max Bayer. So Bayer gamely rises to beat the referee's count, but only to find Joe Louis in a very aggressive mood. He tore in to Bayer, unloaded the left hook, three, four, five of them on target. And when they land, they crunch against the target. Three there in a row. Bayer on the floor again. Eighty-eight thousand one hundred and fifty people in attendance here at the Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Massive crowd. Well, the bell did say Bayer there at the end of the round. Have we come then for round four? Bayer on the floor twice in the third round. The first time from a right hand, the second time from three tremendous left hooks. So Maxi Bayer then trying to protect that chin of his. Oh, 
Jo Louis, as you can see, with a pretty low, slow left, uh, left hand of his own. Very, very quick to capitalise on any opening. And again, such economy from Joe Louis here. Again, terrific shots here from Louis. Don't lose the kind of guy. If you're in range, he'll hit you, and it won't just be once. He loves to feel the weight of his hands on his opponent. Nothing Bear could do to get out of the way of these very, very damaging punches. Hard to know, of course, what Louis' best punch is, the left hook or the right cross. Because he's equally good in both departments. Good defensively as well. Again, that left hand smacking into the face of Max Bear. He really threw that one with uh, Venom. Well, Maxi Bear takes a big right hand again, and he's gone over this time. Well, the big question here, will he beat the count? The count is 7-8. It's all over, it's all over. So Maxi Bear then beaten in the fourth round. Let's watch that again. Joe Louis right hand, an absolute corker. Well, Bear faltered there, took a left hook to help him on his way down. Outstretched his left arm as if to try and keep Louis off him, but the referee picks up the count. And sadly for Bear, he was unable to beat it. So the referee just ensuring that Joe Louis is in a neutral corner. Louis, a very disciplined individual, not only uh, when he comes down to boxing, but also in sportsmanship. Although, as I have said, he, he did have a reputation for being a fairly dirty fighter at some point. So the referee then picked the count up at five when he made sure Lou was in the uh, neutral corner. Carried on. Maxi Bear couldn't beat it at ten. So, Joe Louis then, the winner in four rounds of a scheduled 15. Of course, a delighted winner. Attention, please. The time, two minutes, 50 seconds, fourth round, winner is Lewis. And here he is, 10 seconds at the end of the fourth session. Joe Louis, a fourth round winner by knockout, impressively, of a Maxi Bayer. Didn't he do well? I know means, of course, the end of Max Bayer's career. So lots more to come from him. Almost 90,000 people witnessed Joe Louis' destruction of Max Bear there in four rounds. But uh, after an initial flurry from Bear, all belonged to Joe Louis. <laughs>